Hey everybody, meteorologist Danielle Noyce here for the One Degree Outside Weather Network. This is your evening essentials and there'll be some showers that linger in far northern New England during this evening and overnight tonight. Clear the farther south you come as we head throughout the overnight with cool temperatures too, dropping through the 60s and into the 50s for many of us. In fact, some of the cooler spots will dip into the upper 40s, Berkshires, southern Vermont, southwest New Hampshire. So Matt and I always talk about leaving the windows open overnight, letting the fresh air in. Tonight you may not want to do it. It's going to get a little bit on the chilly side, cooler than average for the end of August for sure. Now, let's talk about the predictive radar. This evening, yes, the greatest chance of a few showers is across Vermont, northern and central Vermont in particular. There may be a stray shower here through the Pine Tree State, the Crown of Maine, and along the Maine coastline. Otherwise, many of us are dry with variable cloud cover overnight tonight. Little sun to start tomorrow, then the clouds build in. So we do turn mostly cloudy for a period tomorrow from late morning through the afternoon. There'll be scattered showers in northern New England. Some of them will come into central and even southern New England by the time we get to tomorrow late afternoon and evening, like the 4 to 7 p.m. time frame. So a lot of the day tomorrow is spent dry. But notice the Worcester Hills, Route 2 Quarter, southeast New Hampshire, perhaps into the Merrimack Valley and even Metro West. We get a brief shower that comes in late in the day tomorrow. Highs cooler than average for August again. Running 60 to 65 in the North Country, right around or just over 70 in southern New England. So that means the mountains, we don't get out of the 50s in spots, particularly in the summits. UV index low, some showers around. So I would have the wet weather gear if you are planning on going out in the mountains or for a hike. Chance of a shower in the Lakes region. It's not raining the whole day. There'll be a few that pass on by from time to time from the afternoon to early evening. The beaches, it's an isolated late day shower. It's not an ideal beach day if you're looking for summertime warmth. That being said, the rip current risk has come down. So it's low tomorrow, one to three foot waves and early afternoon high tide. Water temperatures in the 60s, 70s when you get along the Cape Cod Bay and south coast of New England. Speaking of the coast, both our near shore and offshore seas have calmed down quite a bit and will stay that way. I'm going to play things through the end of the week. And into the start of the weekend, still some five to six footers when you get off the coastline of Nova Scotia. Otherwise, a fairly tranquil period on the water right on through the start of the weekend.